Paul Quiggle says, hey, guys, I noticed when you type in Google things to do in your town, a knowledge graph comes up with different types of activities. I have a client that is wanting to create a workshop style class in his city and wants organic traffic from that source. What is the best way to get included into that list? Schema. You have to have proper schema markup. There are um, there are people that teach that kind of stuff. Um, you could also just try to do some extensive, you know, research throughout by just doing simple Google searches to try to find out how to do that. I, I don't, you know, I haven't done any of that stuff yet, but there are um, Ryan Rodden. He could probably do that, right? I'm sure, he could. Let me see if we've got. Okay, so Ryan Rodden was a mastermind member for quite some time. I don't think he's with us anymore, but he does a lot of schema stuff. And he may be able to help you. He does it, uh, you know, you can hire him. So he's got schema code order. You can also hire him on like a consultant basis to kind of help you code stuff out. You might want to even just pay him for an hour of his time to teach you how to do that. I don't know if he's be willing to do that, but this is somebody that I could recommend is probably would be able to help you to do that. I know, again, like I said, some of the, um, some of the people that, you know, some colleagues, some of the other SEO groups out there, they are people that have taught that. It's not something I know how to do because I have not done that. But it again, it, it all comes down to schema. If you publish content on your site and you mark it up properly, Google will come use that and include it in that type of a thing. For example, a lot of times, guys, if, if you know, and I've done training about this, questions and question and answer posts are great for blogs and uh, it's great for SEO. And how do I know that? Well, if you ask certain questions into Google, you notice right in the SERPs, there's accordion menus, like drop down menus that have the questions with a little down arrow pointing. And they're in groups usually of three, three to five questions. And if you click on one of the questions, it reveals the answer, which is just a snippet that it pulled from one of the search results that are listed on that page. Right. And so that's how you get included in those Q&A boxes by proper markup. And there's Q&A, by the way, schema markup for that. Um, and in fact, Jordan Fowler was pointing out that uh, recently in our, in our mastermind. But there's um, what's cool about that is every time you click one of those questions to reveal the answer, it re it load makes that box that has the questions in it like expand to include even more related questions. And each time you click it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And again, all it's doing is it's sourcing that the answers from other web properties that have the proper markup and that Google has determined are authoritative in that, you know, particular topic. So you, that's why I've, I've, I've talked about that being very powerful to use as blog type content. And if you can create an original answer to those types of questions and mark it up properly, you can get included in those boxes. But even just for SEO purposes, if you go collect or scrape those questions, compile them, and then even use for curating for, and you know, you guys know, probably should know that we teach to curate content because it's the most efficient way to produce content without having to be a subject matter expert. Then you can even curate those questions and answers and create blog posts that are where you group similar questions and answers and you just link out to the content sources just, and Google gives you all that information right there in those Q and A boxes, right? And then you can actually create original posts where you just inject a little bit of commentary in between the curated sections. And that makes great content for the blog as well as for uh, GMB posts. So anyways, I'll drop, I can't drop this link on there guys, because I, Facebook just blocked me for whatever reason from our own app, but uh, schema, S-K-E-E-M-A dot P-R-O. If that answers your question, I would go check out Ryan Rodden for some help if you want like specific help. Otherwise, just do some searches for how to get um, how to get to how to, how to, uh, I, what, what was it? Uh, events, how to get event schema, like uh, event schema.org or something like that is what I would, what I would search. And you could probably find some specific articles about that. Okay. That was a good question. In fact, I'm just curious really quickly. Let's see event schema. So there's the schema.org on that. See, this is, this is what I was talking about. These questions right here is exactly what I'm talking about. And see, when you click on that, how it, it expands even more, it starts adding even more questions and it'll just keep going on and on and on. So there you go. And um, event rich snippet schema creator, SEO chat tools. Look at that, right? There's a tool for that. There's plugins. Those plugins typically don't work all that well. At least they didn't used to. 
but maybe they do. Look, this is event steal or Jason LD. I don't know. Uh, but there you go. There you go. Just do a simple Google search and start doing some research. This looks like a schema markup generator for uh, events. So you might even want to try that and see if, and then go validate it, right? So fill this stuff out, copy the code, go over to the Google structured data tool, paste it in, make sure that it validates. If it validates, then use that code on your web page, your event page. Okay, something else you might want to try is let's do, you could try this too. This is Google's own tool, the Google structured data markup helper. So again, just go to Google and search structured data markup helper. And this is Google's own tool. And look at that, guys. There's an events thing right there. So what you do is you can put your URL in there uh, and then this tool will add structured data markup to a sample web page. Web page. So you can put your, your, your event page in there that you've already published, whether it has the code or not. And then Google's markup helper will start, will allow you to like highlight certain elements of the page and it will tell you how to mark it up. So like, for example, the day, day and time, for example, or uh, the location, like you, you highlight that section and in Google's markup helper tool will tell you how to mark it up correctly. Does that make sense? So again, this is Google's own tool here. Any, uh, any input on that, guys? Or is that good enough? That was perfect. Okay, sweet.